Welcome to TTG Tidbits, a series where we cover quick tips and tricks to help improve your DIY digital marketing skills in two minutes or less. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to compress your image file sizes with Photoshop. So this is something that you should be doing when it comes to adding images to your website because images that have too large of a file size will actually cause your site to slow down a lot and that's something obviously that you don't want to happen. So as you can see here, I have a nice picture of a flower and it says that it is 2.4 megabytes on my hard drive, which doesn't seem like a large file size, but when it comes to web, it's way too big. Uh, we're gonna try and get that down well below uh, one megabyte. And the process is relatively simple. So all I have to do is open up my photo in Photoshop and then go to the top bar where it says file, click on that, scroll down to export, and then select save for web. This will open up a panel with a bunch of different options that you can play with, but really all you need to do is resize the image. Right now it's 4,500 pixels wide. I'm just gonna kind of put 1,200 in there. I feel like that's a good size for this image. And then in the quality section, I have 60 typed in. I try to stick between 60 and 70. Think of this as a percentage. So if it's set to 60, the image quality is gonna be 60% of the original image file. Then I'm just gonna click save and I'm gonna rename my image file and I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Now on my desktop, you'll see I have two versions of the image. I have the original and the compressed one. And as I take a look at the compressed version, you'll see that it is 127 kilobytes which is a significantly smaller file size than the original 2.4 megabytes of the original photo. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tidbits in the future. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below.